Well, hello everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is part two. Last time we met uh, a few characters. We met the hunter, who was a bit of a complicated meeting. And then we talked a little with a mysterious girl and gave, us, <laughs> gave her our money. For no reason. Well, we don't know why. So, let's move forward. Luxury apartment. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Snow what? There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. I swear. So explain. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. I'm late. Where are you going? Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. I promise. Sure. You promise? I promise. Sure. Why not? Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. So it wasn't Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Bigby. Sure, if I should talk to him. Fly catcher needs to dust this guy. Touch it. Let's snoop around. since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Private. Let's talk to the man who's sleeping on the job. Hey, you wink? No. Hmm. Probably for the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess I'll just head upstairs. Right, right. B. 
Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Mm. Have you seen Beauty? Oh, I don't know. So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. There's a piece. <laughs> Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Hmm. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. This still works. Should help. <laughs> God damn. Uh, Colin. Not again. What are you doing on my chair? Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. A smoke thanks a couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me this has got to stop you can't keep sneaking off the farm like this the fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have He didn't mean that. to be so... rude. That for me? Nope. I'm sorry, Piggy. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. 
Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true, what with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. <laughs> He's unimpressed. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's <laughs> embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, <laughs> enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. I'm sorry, Piggy. I mean, Colin. I won't send you back to the farm. Thanks, Big B. The girl. Big B. Big B. It's snow. Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Uh oh.
It's ahead. <gasps> no. <laughs> you knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. No! It's just I liked her. Terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us... Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. could do something like that. Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. What's that? What is... It's... a ribbon. There's... some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. signs that it's been here long. So let's take it. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Maybe I should talk to Snow before moving any further. Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes. Thanks. Okay. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Mm. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big B, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? It's just so awful. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. I didn't finish exploring. What are you, blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. You shut your mouth! That didn't feel very genuine. <gasps> Fucker. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life, and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. 
For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... I don't care. Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? <laughs> yes, thankfully. The flying monkey. Buffkin! <laughs> Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> it hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Mm, Hi. The genie. Snow White, Mr. Green's assistant. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. Yeah, oh. The genie's been freed. He's gone. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. At least I have a reflection. <laughs> hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Hmm. Well, we'll try the mystery girl first. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Okay. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. <laughs> hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Okay, thanks. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, before we investigate in the books, we're going to finish this part here. If you enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.